In this tutorial I'm going to fill in the background with a kind of grass texture or landscape. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is select my white background and go and create a new layer. So I'll call this my dark background landscape and hit OK. So since I had my white background selected, it's just going to create the new layer right above that. Um, and basically I want to go and select the area around the building, all the white space around the building footprint. So just to visualize this, I'm going to go to my drawing layer that has the building footprint on it. And I'm going to turn all the other layers off except the white background and the DWG layer with the footprint and I'm going to use my magic uh, wand tool to select the, the area around the footprint and I'm going to turn my dark background layer back on and go and select my foreground color that I want to use to fill this in with hit OK and now when I go to edit fill um, it's not giving me the option to fill because my layer is still turned off so I'm gonna just make sure I turn my layer on so that it's visible and now I can have the option to fill so I'm gonna choose my foreground color hit OK and that shows up and now I'll just go ahead and turn on all of my other layers so um, with this still selected, I'm going to create, use the airbrush tool to kind of airbrush around the building footprint. So if I go to my brush tool, I can select my airbrush. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of the airbrush so that it's really large and basically use this to kind of blend blend um, the footprint area the, the area around the footprint with the background a little bit better um, I'm also going to change my flow to a hundred percent and I'm going to darken the color just a, just a little bit so that there's some difference so this is basically just trying to create a landscape that is not such an even color and um, you know you can just use your own judgment on this but the idea is just to have some kind of variation so that it's not so flat so once I do this um, use the airbrush I'm gonna just right click and turn this into a smart object again so I'm gonna right click convert to smart object and use the same tool that I used in the previous tutorial which is under filter I'm gonna add noise and this gives it a little bit of a texture again to represent grass in this case and so that airbrush tool combined with the noise tool allows it to um, have a little more variation again just so that it doesn't look so flat and that's kind of a simple way to start to create a grass textured background um, in your drawing and I'm gonna go ahead and just add some shadows here uh, similar to in the, the the way I did in the uh, previous tutorial